Our next tree is Metasequoia glyptostriboides, one of my favorite species names out there. Dawn redwood. So dawn redwood is very similar to what we'll see in Taxodium disticum, the bald cypress, uh, but very easy to tell apart if you know the characters. So Metasequoia glyptostriboides, it is a conifer. It's a deciduous conifer, just like is uh, bald cypress, but the leaflets, which are the uh, branchlets, and we'll see here, so they are arranged oppositely, and then so are the leaves. So the leaves along the branchlet are opposite, and the branchlets are arranged oppositely. The cones are, are different in um, Metasequoia glyptostriboides. There are these little barrel-like cones. These are green uh, now, but they will mature to be a, a, a brown hard cone, and they'll release their seeds from there. Another great uh, uh, ID uh, feature on Metasequoia glyptostriboides are what we call armpits. Not sure if you can see that, but where the branch comes out, there's gonna actually going to be like an armpit that's in the, uh, uh, dug into the, um, into the main trunk uh, a little bit, and that will be absent in uh, bald cypress. Uh, both bald cypress and Metasequoia glyptostriboides, great for a wet zone, um, but Metasequoia glyptostriboides does not have the cypress knees that you'll see in uh, bald cypress, which that species uses for gas exchange. So, and uh, one final point on Metasequoia glyptostriboides, it is a uh, living fossil, so you go back to the fossil record and it's basically unchanged for millions of years. So very cool, right? So that's Metasequoia glyptostriboides.